back and we have got two incredible recipes lined up for today's video. First being a lemongrass coconut noodle soup bowl. So there's a lemongrass mung bean dal recipe in balance and what I did was took the lemongrass paste and then created this coconut noodle soup bowl. You guys know I love to use seasonal vegetables when I can. So we're gonna make a butternut squash creamy pasta sauce. We are going to combine that with some end of summer ingredients like courgettes and tomatoes. We're gonna cook those down till they're bursting with flavor. So if cooking from scratch is a new skill to you and it takes you a little bit longer just to navigate your way around the kitchen, do not put pressure on yourself, okay? There is no need to feel the pressure of creating meals from scratch every single day. Just do what you can, when you can, with the resources that you have. This platform is all about guilt-free cooking. It's about enjoying the process when you are in your kitchen, having fun when you are in your kitchen. So a new skill that I have recently been investing my time into, which is so long overdue, I have for the longest been talking about, I wanna ferment, I wanna pickle my own vegetables. I'm finally doing that using Skillshare. So if you're not familiar with Skillshare, Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 30,000 classes in design, business, photography, and film, and so much more. I'm always setting myself new challenges, new goals, and I love learning a new skill, and Skillshare is a great platform to do so. Like I mentioned, I've wanted to pickle for so long. With the help of Skillshare and using this brine time pickle like a pro course, I feel like I have the ins and outs of pickling down. I am ready to explore the world of pickling and jump into my kitchen. So Skillshare is giving away a free two-month unlimited access trial to my audience, so make sure you click the link in the description box. After the trial, it's around $10 a month. Directing your time and focus and energy into learning a new skill is invaluable. So yeah, a big shout out to Skillshare. Thank you for sponsoring today's video. I am ready to jump into these recipes. I hope you guys enjoy them. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's jump into the first, the first recipe. Let's go. So the first recipe is the most fragrant lemongrass coconut noodle soup bowl. I cannot describe the depth of flavor of this recipe. So these are the ingredients that we are going to be using. So my personal preference is to use shiitake mushrooms for this recipe. I love the texture of shiitake mushrooms and I find that it works really, really well. Obviously you can sub for any type of mushroom that you have. My love for cabbage is real. So we are gonna be using some cabbage, some carrots, some tender stem, and we're gonna make the most delicious lemongrass curry paste using lemongrass, ginger, onions, lots of garlic, turmeric, chili. We're gonna throw lots of different spices in there. So you can choose any any type of noodle that you want. We are going to need some stock. I am using some vegetable stock. We're gonna need some fresh lime, actually a couple of limes. We want it really zesty. Lots of coriander and some creamy, smooth, full fat coconut milk. So we are going to start by making the most fragrant lemongrass curry paste. So roughly chop all of your ingredients. That's the onions, the ginger. Make sure you peel the ginger. You can just remove the skin from the garlic. So we're gonna chop up some of our red chilies, go easy on the seeds, depending on how you like the spice. Again, just roughly chop the lemongrass and get the lime ready, because we are going to squeeze in that zesty lime juice. I also peeled a little bit of fresh turmeric, which I just didn't get on camera. Spice seeds that I used included some fennel seeds, cumin seeds, and some cardamom seeds. I just gave them a good crush. I'm choosing to blitz the curry paste in a food processor because I kind of like it to have a little bit of texture to it. If you only have a food blender, then that is totally fine as well. So place in the onions, the ginger, the garlic, the fresh turmeric, which you can definitely sub with powdered turmeric. Swell in some melted coconut oil. So we're gonna place in our herbs and spices, including dried basil, cumin seeds, cardamom seeds, fennel seeds, garam masala, some sea salt. So we'll blitz the curry paste until it has reached curry paste consistency until it's well blitzed and I would say give it a little taste at this point just make sure the flavors are on point make sure it's well balanced as you like it as you enjoy I love making up this curry paste in big batches it saves a lot of time during the week when I want something tasty and I have this delicious curry paste ready stored in my fridge so we are going to continue by prepping our vegetables so I finally chopped up the cabbage and I gave it a good wash a good good wash I then chopped up the carrots and I left the tender stem I just snipped off the ends gave it a good wash 
So heat up a pan and throw in that curry paste. No need for any oil because remember we put coconut oil in the curry paste already. So yeah, the first six to eight minutes, it's all about cooking the curry paste down, infusing the flavors, bringing the flavors out, cooking the spices well. We wanna get the taste from the garlic, from the lemongrass, from the chili. We want to go crazy with flavor. So when the curry paste starts smelling incredible, which it will do straight away in your kitchen, but wait about eight minutes and then swell in that creamy smooth coconut milk. Pour it all in, pour that coconut milk in and give everything a good mix. This is my favorite site ever, food bubbling away. I watch food bubbling away. Okay, go ahead and grind in some black pepper if you want to, if you feel like it. Um, throw in the vegetable broth or the other broth that you choose to use and then throw in the cabbage and the carrots. Cook everything down. We are going to lower the heat and place the lid on our pan and then we are going to prep our vegetables. You can use whatever vegetables you wish to. I chose to steam the tender stem and I'm gonna kind of like pan flash fry the shiitake mushrooms. So I just heated a little bit of coconut oil, threw the shiitake mushrooms in, splashed over a little bit of tamari and then threw in some finely chopped garlic, a little bit of black pepper, cooked down until golden. I put my noodles to cook and that was really simple. I just placed them into some boiling water and I gave them a good rinse after so they wouldn't stick together. This coconut noodle soup bowl would not be complete without coriander so I chopped a lot of fresh coriander up and I threw it in. And then it was time to serve up this lemongrass coconut noodle soup bowl. So I placed that soup into the bowl first with the cabbage and the carrots and the coconut milk with the fragrant ginger lemongrass smells oozing from it. I placed on top the steamed tender stem, the garlic shiitake mushrooms and the cooked noodles. So I placed on top some spring onions or you might call them scallions, some chili, some sesame seeds and some fresh coriander. Obviously I put some lime because I am gonna squeeze lime juice, more lime juice all over it. That lemongrass is everything in this recipe. It really, really makes this recipe special. This, like I said, has been a go-to recently and I think it's gonna continue to be a go-to recipe. It is divine. So the next recipe is definitely something to scream about. Maybe not scream, but just maybe be very, very happy about. It is the most incredible creamy butternut squash pasta dish. So the wonderful ingredients that we are going to be using include cherry tomatoes, courgettes, some leeks, some lemons, some cashews, lots of fresh herbs like thyme and sage, and of course, a butternut squash. So we're gonna begin by chopping up our butternut squash. I always say it's the most least intimidating type of squash to manage and we're simply just gonna cut it right down the middle. So go ahead and scoop the seeds out and season with some sea salt and a good crack of black pepper. I love to swirl on a little bit of coconut oil. This just helps it get a lot more caramelized. I place the butternut squash into a preheated oven of 200 degrees Celsius and left it in there for about 45 minutes. So we're gonna chop up the vegetables that we are going to kind of throw into the pasta dish, not into the sauce. So I finally chopped some leeks and some courgettes. So once the butternut squash is ready and it is looking something like this, it is steaming hot and it's got that kind of like caramelized edge to it and it is sweet and you just know it's gonna be delicious, remove it from the oven and scoop it out. You can either peel the skin off or you could just simply scoop it out. So to prepare our creamy butternut squash pasta sauce, we will ideally have our cashews soaked at least two to three hours beforehand. So using a blender or a high speed blender if you have one, Throw in the roasted butternut squash, the soaked cashews, a swell of olive oil, a good grind of black pepper and a good helping of sea salt, some garlic cloves, chili flakes, onion powder, squeeze in some lemon juice and then pour over the water. I blitzed everything until smooth and I stopped halfway through because I felt like this needed some paprika, more for the color. So I whizzed it up again and this was the consistency of the pasta sauce. 
So we are going to place our leeks and our chopped courgettes into a heated pan. I did add a little bit of olive oil and I sprinkled over a little bit of sea salt, some black pepper, give it all a shake. I threw in some mixed herbs. You can throw in any dried herbs that you have if you wish to. And I splashed over a little bit of tamari. I cooked the vegetables down until they had a really gorgeous golden tint and I scooped some out and set some aside. This is to go over the pasta once it is cooked. The rest of the vegetables are going to be mixed in with the sauce. I then threw in some cherry tomatoes and cooked it down even more. We want these to explode. These are going to burst with flavor. So I threw that pasta sauce into the pan and you're gonna see it's gonna thicken up. So add water accordingly. You kind of be the judge of that. I placed in some more black pepper, some fresh parsley. A dish like this is really brought to life using some fresh parsley and the remaining fresh herbs. So some fresh thyme, which should have been wrapped together. It's a lot easier to do it like that. And some fresh sage. So continue by cooking up the pasta of your choice. And once the pasta is cooked, you can throw the pasta into the sauce. I'm definitely more of a sauce person. I prefer more sauce than pasta itself. So I went crazy, <laughs> crazy with the sauce quantity. And yeah, continue to cook the dish down for about five to seven minutes. So a warming, comforting bowl of pasta. Yes, please, yes, please. Go ahead and place that creamy butternut squash pasta in the bowl, top it with the courgettes, throw over some fresh parsley, give it some more black pepper if you want to, swirl over a little bit of olive oil and you will have a bowl of pasta from heaven. So a dish like this is something that you can really just add whatever you have in your cupboard, flavor it up, season it up well, throw extra herbs in if you want, throw different herbs in if you want, just experiment. Oh, seriously. Seriously, no words for this recipe, no words for that first recipe either. I hope you guys enjoy both of them. Let me know how it goes in the comment section. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video. See you all, bye.